Today I'm having a look at this Cree 60 watt replacement bulb that uses 13.5 watts. This is exclusively from Home Depot for now. You can buy it in a six pack to cut down on the cost per bulb just a bit. So it uses a bit more electricity to put out the 800 lumens than some others, but the color rendering index is the bragging point. So right there in the packaging, 93 CRI. When you browse your local home improvement store, you often don't see the color rendering index mentioned. That can be a problem when trying to compare bulbs. I brought home some bulbs that were just pretty terrible in their color cast. They just weren't uh, pleasant to use in bedroom, office, wherever, in your home. Okay, so now let's uh, open this up. It's kind of a blister pack with a little friction there, and now we've got the rather colorful description inside with the bragging point about the color rendering index. So I'll be interested to see how hot this thing gets. I'll be using it in a semi-enclosed ceiling fixture in a bedroom, so that would be fine. I don't believe they brag about this being used in an enclosed location. Online I couldn't find that. Let's see what the packaging says. Alright, so it talks about operating environments. 113 is a problem. So I would say you'd want to use this in open fixtures. If it could be used in an enclosed fixture, like a glass bulb hanging off your ceiling, it would say so. This is not suitable for that. For my use case, maybe a bathroom fixture that has an open end or a ceiling fixture that kind of hugs the ceiling, semi-enclosed, it'll be fine. Should be fine. I'll find out soon. Okay, let's go ahead and get it open. There's a tear open sign right there. So you're rather uh, committed. It's rather obvious if you were to try to return this. Because you know, whether you've used it or not, there's no question about that. I can feel the weight of it. It's glass. It's got a rubbery texture on the glass. So it should handle your average drop fairly well, and even if it does shatter, the, the kind of gooey, rubbery texture on the outside should keep the uh, shards from flying all over. So there it is. Let's go ahead and plug it in. To my own human eye in the room, the most obvious thing would be the dark spot at the top. So I've seen this in some reviews. There is a bit of a dark spot. So if the bulb is actually showing, say hanging down from a fixture over a bathroom sink, that might look a little bit strange. Kind of like it's um, got dirt on it or something. Speaking of dirt, I'll also just say that the rubbery texture is probably not so great after 5-10 years in a maybe greasy, oily environment or garage or something. Just finish up this video with a look at the label that it comes in the neck of the bulb. Be kind of good to know what it says in there so that uh, as you're trying to figure out what you installed many years ago, hopefully a decade or two down the line when it comes to any replacement, um, it should be clear in what kind of uh, suitable use locations uh, it's appropriate for. So it says not for use in multiple open fixtures or enclosed fixtures together with other lamp bulbs. It's not real clear if it should never be used in an enclosed fixture. And it doesn't talk about temperature range here. It does say it's suitable for damp locations. Now I've got all three Cree bulbs installed. A little bit purpley when turned off. You won't see that once the glass fixture is over it. I'm going to use this Lutron dimmer and just flick it all the way on like I would when I come into the room. There's obviously no warm-up time or no issue there. Now let's do a gradual reduction in brightness. When I let go of my finger, it kind of bounces up a little bit, the brightness. Not a big deal, very slight, and it looks like it goes very dim. Oh, that's good. Now I'm at the bottom of the dimmer where it just barely turned off, and now you hear it click as I turn it all the way off. It's working quite well with the dimmer. Let me... nope. So if I go like a millimeter from the bottom of this Lutron dimmer, it stays barely illuminated, and it takes a while. I'm not... Let's see, um, let me show you. I just let go, and you can see it fades out. So there seems to be a little delay at the low levels where it kind of decides what brightness to stay at. It's not instant. At the top levels, though, it's basically instant on. Okay, the bulbs have been on for about half an hour now. Go ahead and test. Okay, I cannot hold my hands on there. It does hurt. The bulb itself is only slightly warm. No big deal. Easy to touch here. 
also hot enough that I cannot keep my fingers on there for very long. And since this one's glass, you expect it to be hotter. It is a little bit hotter than the L-Prize plastic lens, but not a big difference. 